We're back on the Ride Now Fee Lounge Live Saturday morning. We keep this thing moving. Normally, we would be wrapping up. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. Wrong. <laughs> it's a new month. Three hours. New season. There you go. What? Yeah, you didn't even know, right? No. I got to do one more hour. Damn. Yeah, Big shout to Carl man. Michael again, man. Follow that Yo, brother. Shout out he, to Carl. Yes. He is is it Michael yes, sir. or yes, sir. Michelle? Oh, Michelle, oh, he, Michelle. Is, he is from, um, uh, you know, Haiti. I, I lived Haiti. in France yeah. for a year, so. I know, I, I, know you, I know, we, we know about your passport, <laughs> brother. He ain't got no hyphen. I ain't got, 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 got no hyphen in he the name. That out there. I lived hey, in France hey, for we, a while. We, we, we get on that. planes, too. <laughs> <laughs> Call me, but you, but you know how to know how to say Michel. Je m'appelle. Qu'est-ce que c'est? How about that? Well, he need a hyphen, man. Listen, this brother here to my left, he's known to talk to He's been here a while. He's been here several times. Friend to the show, he's doing some amazing things. I, I really wanted to bring him back because you know what he is as a, as a celebrity artist, uh, legendary artist, part of the Lords of the Underground. But I wanted to bring him back to talk about something I know he has a passion for the political side, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back now. If you like to do it all, what's good, brother? Oh man, thanks for having oh, me. Oh, no man. doubt, thanks brother. for having me. Welcome, welcome. 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 welcome, you know. And, and big shout to D because I know without D, there's no he, yeah. um, <laughs> so you know, no doubt. But thanks for coming up, brother. Hey, I really man. appreciate it. For real, thanks for having me. Always and congratulations to you guys, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, because you know, a lot of internet radio stations and a lot of just um, radio platforms, mm -hmm. they don't last like you guys. You guys didn't change the set and I mean, it's official up in here, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys. We take Con Edison up here. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I appreciate for what you guys do for the, you know, allowing, giving a platform to the culture of hip hop too. Yeah, you. you know, again, I mean, you know, obviously we all have, we had, like I mentioned in the last we call, we have a good time, we do our thing, but you know, again, we want to bring some, we want to bring some intelligence to Saturday morning. People work all week. You really don't want to be bombarded with too much seriousness on a Saturday morning, but sometimes we want to give you that. Give you some, you know, some reality with your egg. So mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Now, again, you you did something last night, and you continue to do things in your hometown, in Newark. You did a big mm -hmm. event for kids going back to school. Can I touch on that a little bit? Oh well, this program that I'm doing. Uh, shout out to the mayor Raz Baraka. You know, I've known Raz uh, for a long time, and he's just happened to become mayor now. Right, and that's what we have to do. You know, you know, a lot of people. I'm from Newark, New Jersey, and I hear a lot of the rumblings of sometimes, you know, people just hate just because. Yeah. And I didn't real, you know, I, I didn't realize that until I started really getting into the world. You know, how could you hate when somebody's doing something good? Right. Before they're doing it, you're rooting for them. Let's go. I need my man. I need my homegirl. I need, let's win, let's win. And then when they win and they get into that position of winning and, and to continue to win, then we start hating on them. Yeah. Um, what, I, why is that? I don't know. I'm trying it, to it, tell I you mean, They did it to Martin general. Luther King, and he, it ended his life. They did it with Malcolm X. Right. Baz, and his life. I mean, I can go on with, with right. political <clears throat> leaders and, and people, community leaders, and they destroyed the whole Black Panthers, and to this day they have brainwashed a whole other culture that, that that was something wrong. Right. And they compare it to the KKK. and Like, come on, man. Is it, is it, it's agendas. Know. Everybody has their own agenda. So they're pushing for their man to get in, mm -hmm. and when their man don't follow their agenda... I said, oh, he's fake. Oh, he, wasn't, he didn't do what he was supposed to do. Yeah. So now I'm going to go break him up because he didn't follow my agenda. And that's the problem right there. And, it's, and to me, again, I'm, I'm not from Newark, but just watching the scene from, I won't mention who else, I mean, the names. That, but he seems to be a guy that really is in it. I remember having a conversation with you off the record. He was a guy that you guys grew up with. So yeah. he's homegrown. That's he's what, one of their native sons. That's what I meant. Like, yeah. like all of the stuff that I'm doing in Newark, New Jersey, this is not... This is not something that we're just now doing. Right. I've been doing this before Laws of the Underground. Laws of the Underground is over 25 years old, and I was right. doing it before then. Right. So now that I'm doing it is because now we have an end. Um, like the brother Carl said, you know. Oh, maybe that's uh, the mayor calling. That's the mayor. Now. <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter will be there in is 10 there a seconds. sign in the sky? <laughs> 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 we ain't doing no more bus rides. Right after that. Two doors will be a superhero. Ride. You didn't know that. I mean, you know. <laughs> but just like the homie Carl, Carl Michelle said, right. you know, we have to, we can't be, um, and, and I, I know a lot of people don't really like the political aspect of anytime you say, oh, it's political, it's right. politics and all of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like hidden colors. Yeah. You do want to, that's part of it. You do want to get your people in position 
in the in that political governing body within right. your city. Exactly. He said that you must vote locally. Yes, yeah. everybody get your stanking butts out there and vote locally because you might not. Some of those federal things might not even affect you trickle right. down right directly in your your neighborhood. But that 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 freeholder, that um, councilman, that mm-hmm. mayor, that that uh, senator legislation, state legislation. They control. They control yeah, what's going on like in your neighborhood. And what a lot of people yeah. don't understand is that if you don't <laughs> vote, you don't get those budget. Yes, those exactly. budget numbers because they no census and everything like that. They said, well, people don't care, so we're not going to put those monies in those communities. Not enough people, uh, in right? That area. So it's 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 so sort of that. But I think again, what a guy like Ross and and others are doing is because it's it's somebody that I can say, wow, I watch grow. Yeah, he's you know, he one went of to us. the schools. It, you know, he he knows the neighborhoods, and it's, it's similar to what we want from our police. You want our police to be homegrown guys or guys who yeah. know the neighborhood that you know definitely been in the with the police. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't have one of your own. In a governing position, when it com- when it comes time to govern your govern your community, mm-hmm. you won't have anybody that speaks like you. You won't have anybody that thinks like you. You don't have anybody that understands like you understand. Right. I talk a lot of times in schools, and it was this one guy. Just one. It was two situations, but one particular situ- situation they had me do. Can you talk to this guy? He at eleven o'clock every day. He causes all of these problems. We send him down to the principal office, and he winds up staying there for the remainder of the day. Mm-hmm. So I go to him and talk to him. Why has he been doing this for a month straight? Right. Like the next step, they're going to expel him. Right. So this is the day. I think he was eleven years old. So they're about to expel this this. This 11-year-old, mm-hmm. long story short, I go talk to him, and I'm asking him, why are you being so disruptive? Why, why, what is the problem? He says, my mother comes in very late. She, I have six brothers and sisters. Mm. So I am I'm 11. He's 11. Yeah. He's the oldest. Mm. So he's taking care of them, basically. Yeah, he's the, he's the figure. He said, except the baby. Sometimes people watch the baby for him. Right. But he's taking care of them. Long story short, he keeps on his hoodie every day, and the teacher tells him to take it off. Mm-hmm. And he said, because they wear uniforms, and he, he has to show his uniform shirt. And he tells her, no, I'm not taking it off. I don't care what you do. So, of course, she sends him down to the office mm-hmm. just to come to find out he keeps the hoodie on because he has no deodorant. Wow. For the entire month. Right. Wow. wow. So, so when you peel the layers, it's, 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 wow. it's never what the obvious is. Like, not, the yes. obvious is like he's being defined. So he it's doesn't want right. to be musty. He doesn't want to be embarrassed. Right. He doesn't want to be embarrassed. He be tortured to, by yeah. the other kids. To the yeah. other kids. Yeah. So he gets in the fights. He, he's disruptive to the... Over... You can go to the 99 cent store and buy... 30 of them yeah. for $30 and just let them have it for ever. The, for the, the thing is that if nobody speaks on it and he doesn't open up to anybody, exactly. how do you know? You and, never know those things. And those that's what I'm insights. saying. When you don't speak their language, right? I, people, I'm not just talking about ABCs and putting a sentence together. When you don't speak their, the, the language of the neighborhood, when you don't speak the language of the people, <clears throat> mm-hmm. you cannot communicate mm-hmm. correctly. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and that's the problem. We get these people in these political office who probably were okay when they were younger for whatever was going on in their times, but they're they're so removed from the neighborhood. Last night I was in a community in Newark, New Jersey that we call the bottom. The people there call it land of the lost. Some people call it the swamp because it's we call it the bottom mm. because it's it's, it's tucked in, in the bottom. We call it the neck of mm. New Jersey. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it's four projects or four four inner city urban communities where the black people are. The rest are Portuguese and, Braz- and Brazilian. Mm. So the it's like it's there it's his own world down there. They call yeah. it the ironbound section of North wow. New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um and um Joe Pesci is from this area. Mm-hmm. So when you go down there, people are are we have a, a councilman down there. It's like he's the mayor of that town because it's so disconnected from the rest of part of Newark, New mm-hmm. Jersey. There's five wards in Newark, New Jersey. This is the East Ward. And in that East Ward, our people are forgotten down there. Mm. You know, a, a guy <clears throat> came to me and said, yo, we haven't had nothing like this in, in since the 80s. Wow. wow. Somebody said to me, mm-hmm. uh, a Portuguese dude walked up to me last night and said, are you in charge of this? I said, yeah. He said, thank you, because this community really needs this. 
You know, and I was wondering where was the councilman whose name is Amador? And I don't have any problem with Amador except when when you have a problem with not respecting our people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and believe me, I'm not running for Amador's job. So let me just be Maybe clear. Maybe you should take sure. Amador's but, but, job. <laughs> but no, I can't even. I don't. I'm not from the East Ward. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I don't live in the East Ward. Right. You know. Um, I can't anyway, right. but but he's been there so long. He ain't living there either. He, he probably's not he living there either. Yeah. But my point yeah. is, when you do not like an Amador, <clears throat> a person that's like him, and, and we're not just going to pick on him, but right. many politicians like that in the community, right. then you have to put one of your own in position mm. yeah. to, to, to yeah. negate him everything that he's not doing for you. You have to put somebody in position right. so that you can do better for, for your community, that you can have one of your own um, vying for those things that that make you live. Um, what I do is every Thursday I go into the neighborhoods for five weeks along with the city of Newark and the recreation department. Shout out to Gwen Moten and Pat Council who allow me to do it. Mm-hmm. My alpha for alpha brother. Um, <laughs> and Raz Baraka, of course. They give me a stage, they give me a sound system, and I pull it up into those neighborhoods, and I, and I invite some of my celebrity friends and resources, and I pull it together. So what we do is I get with All Star Barbershop. is a very popular barbershop that does a lot for the community mm-hmm. in Newark, New Jersey. Um, we get free haircuts. Man, you should have saw these, these little children getting haircuts yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like, they never had a haircut. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know, just the look on their face. Um, I have a chef friend of mine who chefs up, you know, shout out to um, ShopRite and, and the people over there mm-hmm. giving us turkeys. Mm-hmm. And thing. You know, I help, I hold people accountable in my neighborhood. Right. If you're making millions of Make dollars money, or billions right. of give dollars it in it, and I back. ask you for $1,000 yeah. or $500 and you don't give it to me, mm-hmm. when these gangs and all that stuff come pressing up on you, then how, how are we going to help you? Right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. When these people start pressing up on you, or, or let's not even take it there. Right. When we stop going there spending money right yeah you know what i mean exactly. now you want to now you have a problem oh nobody spends money in this neighborhood no because yeah. you making so the problem is a lot of people are from Newark, new jersey because of their businesses or their residents but they're not of the right. community it's a difference mm-hmm. yeah. they just come difference. to make money they just come yeah. to make money and after money, they make right. money they put the gate down and go across the bridge yeah and then you go to your safe mm-hmm. living and you don't right. have to live amongst us but when you live amongst the people, you understand the, how to communicate with the people. And that's all we're saying. So we hold people accountable in a certain sense that if you're eating off of us, then eat with us. Share mm-hmm. with us sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, because that makes a difference. If we know that the local bodega or business, the local small business is supporting us in these little outings that we're doing, maybe it's $200. Maybe you bought 300 hot dogs and hamburgers right. or mm-hmm. something. Then guess what? They're going to spend more mm-hmm. money in your establishment. Because they know you care about the community. Yeah, but it's definitely commended because you're a guy that, like I said again, you've been all around the world. You know, you're, you know, a uh, uh, recognized major artists who's done everything work with everybody you don't have to do this you do it because of the kindness of your heart there's something within you that says you know what i can't sleep comfortable at night i can't do what i do without helping others and i think that's to be commended and i know that we're doing that here at dsn um in a few weeks we're doing um the next up to the stage event at studio in the city okay. I, I can't, i'm sorry d i forgot the address real quick i'll give it to you later Thank you, Armin. Thank you. We got the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> but obviously, the yeah. Showcase. Right. But again, we, we, we're we honoring your one honorees oh, because man, of the I'm, fact I'm of what you're doing. Man. And we, listen, I used to bump to your joint back in the day. I can name the clubs. I mean, <laughs> but it's just because more than that, it's because what are you doing now? And I think some people got, everybody got to look in the mirror. Everybody's got to ask themselves what are they doing? What are they doing it on your level? We're just kind of ha- talking to a kid in the, in the neighborhood. What are you doing to make things better? We always point out the problems. We're very easy. We're, very, we're people who are very easy to say, you know what, he's wrong, she's wrong. It's like mm-hmm. the person at the school was saying the kid, he's being defined. But we don't peel the onion back to find out why. Why? Exactly. And it's a very simple question. Why? Why? Like, why, why it could have been easily happening? the way he went to the, to the student, a teacher, God's counselor. That's what I'm saying. Could have right. went yeah. to that student and found out instead of, um, hey, um, do it all. Why don't you go over there and find but out? You but have they, to wanna, have you want to want to find you have to want to find out the why. But see, a lot of times too in our communities, we're taught not to trust authority because authority has has deceived us so much. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Let's look at the police. 
yes. protect and service on, the, on every car mm-hmm. yeah. that passed by. Mm-hmm. In our community, our little children look at that as a lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They look at it they as a lie protecting. because yeah. protect and serve. You just murdered. So many people now. How can they believe that to be true? Yeah. So it's it's kind of like we're contradicting mm. what we're telling our right. children in our communities. Yeah. And and then now let's let's play devil's advocate. When you ride by in those new those good neighborhoods and they say protect and serve and they say yeah because they are being protected, protected and right. served. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But when you that same car rides around another ha- neighborhood, they might throw an egg at it. Right. And it's all dented up too. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then we get the ru- we right. get the bad car. Or the officers like they walking around in Beirut because of the, the, the guns and yeah. you know the the compression pants. It's not like when we were growing up where the cop had a blue shirt, a little revolver, he eat an apple off the Yeah, off didn't the pay truck. for it. Yeah, well, yeah. They, they still don't yeah, pay, they for still pay for it. For but <laughs> they're not looking like they're ready for war. Yeah. 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 These cops that walk in our streets today, they, they are combat, no, full all, metal jacket. All, yeah, they're all militarized. Yeah, right. they're militarized. See, because the, right. the one thing I look at, and the one thing I can always condemn, I, I always sit there and I say that I'm, I'm happy to say that you do it, um, you do it, um, do it all is that you stay engaged. Because that's the biggest thing that a lot of people got to realize they got to do. But just because yeah. you go and vote, just because you go and do once, and then you think then, okay, I'm done. You got to keep at it. You got to keep going into it. Because if you don't, those same people that you put in sometimes can slip up or just get, say, oh, this, people don't, this person don't care no more. I'm now into doing something else. Right. Yeah. But you got to stay on them because if you do not stay on them, they will stray. And then next thing you know, turn around, you're not getting what you really need and want. That's true, man. You got to yeah. understand the youth of children, man, in, in any capacity, they're a sponge. Yeah. You know, I just believe the older that they get, the more brainwashed we get by society. But as a young child, they're sponges, man. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of learned behavior. It's a lot of um, it's a lot of having no learning from the the people in your life. I, you know, for me, I, I just I'm just a firm believer that a male child can only be taught how to be a man from a man. Respect, definitely, and, um, I agree, and 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 vice versa. You know, a, a female child can only be taught how to be a woman from a woman. Mm. I, I can't teach a little girl how to be a woman. Right. Mm. I'm not a woman. I don't care if I came in here with a skirt on and I'm acting feminine. I'm never be able yeah. to teach a little <laughs> right. female child how to be a woman. Right. And vice versa, a female in our community, we have a lot of single moms raising these males, yeah. and they do a hell of a job. They, yeah. they keep them protected. They um, nurture them. But they can never teach that little boy how to be, be a, a man. man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how much she, but what mm-hmm. she is doing, she is teaching that little male child what a man, uh, what a woman is supposed to be, whether she realizes it or not. And that's why when you grow up, you know, you tell, I'm never going to like a person like my mama. or I'm not, And that's the, that's the, really, you're looking for those same good elements that your mom showed you mm-hmm. as a woman. You look, you look for that in your mate. You look for that in a female, you know. And, and I know that to be true because my mom was a strong, single parent, strong woman. Right. I can't, I can't. Any girlfriend I've ever had, any chick I've ever dated, or, I mean, not chick, any woman I've ever, <laughs> I've ever dated. Don't get out the car now, yeah, right. dude, or stay in I've, the car now. I've ever dated. Out the lane. I've always been attracted to strength. Like, I, if I say, yo, why did you do that? And she say, because I, I was like, oh, that's not like attractive. Woman. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, okay, like okay. I like strong women. I don't like the the dingy the, because I, I you don't like big my like mom, a brainless. My mom wasn't that though. Right. That's the point I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And I think vice versa for a female. You know, she she might say, I'm never gonna talk to nobody like my dad. But you can probably look at the things that your her dad was, and then some of the traits that you have. And I guarantee you, a few of those things are gonna match up. We got a call to do. Um, caller, who are you? Welcome, to Nafi Lounge. Who are you? Where you calling from? This is this is Triple OG. What's going on, my brothers? Oh, you were uh, with Triple OG. I, I I think you might really be Triple OG after the week you had. <laughs> 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 What's going on, brothers? Eddie, Triple OG, Bailey, Triple Old OG. School Chronicles, yeah, Tuesday, yeah, yeah. eight to nine, DSN Network is a nine fifty joint. Triple O. What's going on, brother? You got a question for Dude All? Yes, yes. First of all, I, I like to say I just want to say keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I support what you're doing, my brother, man. I, I've been doing, uh, listening to you for years. 
Hold on a second. It needs to shut this down. Oh, man. What are you doing? You driving? You're going to bring a female on. Oh, I like him. I like him. Seven different things in one time. He got the old cell phone in the case. You know, unzip. What he does, man, and I, and, and I had to call, and I've been looking at this. I've been looking at this. Of course, you know, I'm lost in America down here in the Carolinas. Can't get out of here. Unfortunately, that's why I'm still here, y'all. Careful, hey, man, I went to college in Raleigh, North Carolina, so shout out to, right, shout out to North Kakalaka, man. Yeah, Kakalaka in the building, man. They've been, they've been treating me with the, the greatest love affair all over, man. But, no doubt. Uh, I'm trying to get out of here. So, shoot to the stone weapons. It's you definitely. stuck there. It's like the Hotel California. Once you enter, you never can leave. What's <laughs> your question, I, Triple OG? I, mean, I thought it was. Hey, hey, hey. That's why I had to call for reinforcements. I said, yo, listen, y'all, you don't know my, my man's and them. They're going to be on the show any minute. So, you know, you either take it or make it or break it. But uh, anyway, they've been showing me love down here. It's beautiful. But uh, the storms was acting up and everything. But for safety reasons, I had to sit still for a minute because, you know, I would be right here with you, fellas, man. And I feel like I missed, man, because in the other day, I, I see the Yankee caps in the building and stuff. You know what I mean? I feel like what's going down here. Yeah. Do you have a question, Yo, you brother? Are oh, you doing a weather report? Uh, uh, triple OG, it's not <laughs> wet Tuesday, and this ain't no cool crap. Listen, give me a question real quick, brother. <laughs> Hey, I just, uh, my question is, well, one of my questions. I love you like man. apples or pears? I'm enjoying my oh. show, man, but definitely, oh. man. But, uh... <laughs> I had some people that they were just asking things, but y'all were listening to y'all just that. I think you pretty much answered. They were support. They wanted to know how they could support you and everything you're doing. Because I was standing by some people down here, and they wanted to know how they could kind of support what you do up up there, as far as what you were doing in your community, my brother. Oh man, yo, that is that just gave me a chill because that that's a pre. I appreciate that because yeah. anytime you support support me you're really supporting the community i have a non-profit not-for-profit called 211 community impact um right i'll give you the number to mercedes okay. man in the, in the email real quick and you okay. guys can contact her and um uh -huh. you know we, we do a lot of things at 211 community impact from impacting the community of course and just making making the residents the residents and the, and everybody who's a part of the community um, aware of different policies and things that you know literate to to those different policies because a lot of times people don't even understand their rights in their communities they don't right. understand the things that they can actually reach out and do mm -hmm. and um but uh just just real quick man you can contact mercedes just like it's spelled just like the car mercedes <laughs> okay and okay. um you can reach out at the office is nine zero eight uh six nine three nine two seven two so it's okay, nine zero eight six nine three nine two seven two. And like I said, I support you. I support you all the way, brother. I've been I've been following you for years, man, and I'm keep doing what you're doing, man. Appreciate and I appreciate it, man. you just being there. I like I said, if I wasn't lost in America down here, I would be right here greeting you myself, man. Because I'm a big it, fan man. myself for years, man. Thank you, brother. Well, enjoy Real yourself talk. down there, Triple OG. Find a Cracker Barrel or oh, something like that. Yeah, something, <laughs> yeah exactly. Have some, find an umbrella. Get a Bojangles with <laughs> yeah. them. Bring some Bojangles hey, uh, up. And get, you know, get extra um, on, your, on your fries, too. <laughs> Travel safe, bro. Travel safe. Yeah, That's Triple yeah, OG. You know what he made me just realize? Thanks. I don't even know my mama number by heart, and I know mm. my sister Mercedes number. Well, I don't know my mama number, but I know Mercedes number. That's how much I've been talking. Well, she's your baby girl, but she's my baby girl. Mercedes uh. works hard. Yeah, that is that is your lifeline. I, I respect it. No disrespect, to D. Um, but that, that no, she helps the home no the business. Yeah, he's like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm the lifeline. But again, I mean, that's that's what Triple OG was saying is is important because we got to support these things. It's 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 beautiful that. You know, a, a brother like yourself can take it out of his own pocket and do it, and it's commendable. But again, like I said, oh, we either part of the problem or the solution, and with part of the solution, we have to assist. And these things cost. These things are not free. Things cost money. Yeah, you know? man. Just like the homie Carl said earlier in his interview, you definitely have to become the change that you want to see. Um, people ask me, why am I doing this? Why? And I tell them all the time, I. I've been doing it. Right. Maybe social media now allows us right. to the heighten to show see it. Right. To show it more. Yeah, shows you, it more. Show it more. Mm -hmm. And um, what, I, what I'm doing differently that I didn't do before is I'm not scared of the word use anymore. Right. You know, I used to be nervous about that. I don't want nobody to use me. I don't want to use them. I don't want to let them. That is whack, though. Yeah. If you yeah. got if you 
if you're an intelligent brother, sister, and you have uh, certain skill sets that are powerful, then and you're my man, mm. I should be allowed exactly. able to use you. Right. Exactly. It shouldn't that's, even be a question. Just like right. that, should be, you should be able to use me. Right. Now, where the problem comes in is when we start misusing each other. That's the key. So let's not be scared right. of that word, use. Right. You know, because, you know, they say you are the sum of the five people that you are around the most right. or deal with the most. So if you're not utilizing that, then mm-hmm. what, what are you really? So we, we should use each other. Let's yeah. not misuse each Two other. Two Jews can have a conversation, don't know each other, can have a conversation in the street, have a cup of coffee. By the time that coffee is done, they're doing business together. Yeah. No, no clue. When, when in, it's in our community and we do that, Sorry, we're looking at this person, sizing them up, oh, I don't want this, I don't want that. We should use things as motivation. Yeah. You know, I, when we started doing this show uh, many years ago, it was motivating to look at other things. I mean, being, me being in media, I used the things I was working around, helping other people do their designs to make minds better. So when somebody like yourself comes in or a Carl Michelle or a Soleil, and I'm like, wow, I know I've grown because I couldn't get my mom a dog three years ago. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that we need to use each other as motivation. I might, somebody might not have the access to a, 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 a Duke Kelly, but they can hear him speak. They can go to his events. They can, like Triple OG said, support a cause. That should only motivate us. We don't use that motivation as people. Sometimes we get caught up with, you know, you know, not knowing the hard work. Yeah, they might see the the fact you travel on the world, you on stages, and you know the the the, the videos. But you put work in. This is not this is not yeah. an overnight sensation. So you know, use that as motivation. That's how people all the time. Don't look at what I you see me doing. Look at my work ethic. If you reach out to me, I'll tell you how it is because it's not easy. I don't sleep much. And this brother here that's sitting here, I know he don't sleep because he don't. He can't even hear no more. That's so, what he, got um, a lot of, he got <laughs> so, a lot of frequent mileage on the airline. Too. And the person he worship <laughs> is hard working. So that that's where it is. It's like we, and I, I say that not just to our young, but to our old. We need to start realizing that everything. There's no free lunch. Everything that's is earned. Nah, everything man, is earned. Nah. Everything, man. You gotta be. You gotta be the. You have to be part of the whole. I'm not saying that you can change the world. Right. And you know, a lot of times, especially in New, New Jersey. We, 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 we're easily to flip on a new administration right. or somebody who's been in there a few years, two to three years. But it didn't take two or three years for it to get as messed up as it's gotten. Right, right. It took 30, 40, 50, 60 years. So you expect it to be fixed in two yeah. to three years? Yeah, you, right. Even with the presidency. America you can't ain't, do it. You know, you we expect Obama to fix it in eight years? Right. Can't do nah. it. It's like a marriage. You, know, you can't fix a marriage. It's so, been a problem for 10 years. <laughs> I don't know yet. Yeah. No, I, I agree hey. with that. No, but, um, see, but that's the problem because <laughs> yeah. now the, the generation nowadays is looking for instant gratification. It's the microwave. Right. Yeah. It's, it's the microwave. They, have to, they have to have it right then, right now. That's what the problem is. They're thinking that as soon as they put somebody in there, it's supposed to take effect right away. It takes it takes time. Speaking of the presidency, I want to get your thoughts. <laughs> oh, Obviously, I know this is something that you have passion about. We have two mm-hmm. people running for president, and in my opinion, both got problems. Um, one is Mine more too. polarizing <laughs> from a standpoint of his beliefs too that kind of kind of resonates to people the wrong way, and the other one who's got a lot of secrets, who's trying to just limp to the finish line. Just in my opinion, your thoughts on what's going on with with Hillary and the Donald? Um, man. I'm not a fan of neither one, right? You know, and and, it, and like I said, I travel a lot. So when I when I speak to my Iraqi friends, mm-hmm. uh, when I speak to uh, my Greek friends, and they ask me, why do you guys vote for these people? They don't understand our electoral votes. They don't understand the mm-hmm. process here. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, because over there, as you vote for them, then that's what happens. Right. Um, it's not. It doesn't happen like that in America. So. Yeah. When it, because of the way it is, because of the way America has built their system, this is what you get out of it. This yeah. is what it generates. Right. These are the possibilities that you get two people that majority of the country do not want. Yeah. Sorry. Ge- majority of our culture. Yeah. When I, when I say our culture, I'm talking about people of color, yeah. Latinos and black people and, you know, um, people living in poverty and trying to get out of that. Right. They don't want neither. Yeah. So, what do you do then? Do you not vote? I was joking around with somebody like, I'm not voting. And this would be the first time I didn't vote since I was 18. But that's the wrong approach. Right. That is really the wrong approach because we fought to be able to, to vote. Mm-hmm. 
you know, um, died, died, mm-hmm. murdered, killed mm-hmm. to be able to have been called right. less than a man. We the still are being nine, killed, what, 19, It, it being just changed 1965, 66 <laughs> with that vote act. So that's we're not that long. That's a well, lifetime. I got friends that was born in 1965. Right, exactly. Rodeo was 10. You know, um, <laughs> it's a lifetime. Oh, listen, man. I, 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 I disagree with that, <laughs> Senator. So, yeah. so when, you have, when you have that, man, it's like, wow. We've always had the, you know, it's like almost a false choice. Right. We get the worst options. To pick a choice from. Yeah. And people say, well, I gave you a choice. Yeah. But you gave me the worst of the worst to pick from. <laughs> and now and now you have to ask yourself, do you want the world to come to the end with Donald Trump? Or do you want black people to still be called N-word in private with Hillary Clinton? Right. You know what I mean? So it, it's, you got to take the lesser of two evils right. and, and see what better fits your life. I, I just think more people probably would vote for Hillary because at least she has something on record. That I don't know if that's good or bad, though. Bro. Yeah, yeah, but her, yeah record, but her record is not good. Well, and his no, record ain't no better. He ain't got no record at all. You know, for me, both records is destructive. So I, I say do? I don't like Hillary Clinton, but I, I really don't like Donald Trump. Yeah, it's the he lesson to you. He used so to like Donald Trump. I will tell everybody out there. Yes, yes. I will tell everybody out there vote for Hillary Clinton. Mm. Right. And mm. I don't like either one of them, but... Mm. What what I think is happening for me, what scares me about the presidency mm-hmm. is that let's say Donald Trump some kind of way wins, right? I think that the other leaders are praying that he wins, not because oh it's going to be great business going. Give them a reason now. To that's like hate. that's like if I see a sucker that I used to beat up yeah. Yeah. all the time, yeah. and I'm like, oh he gonna be running the block? Yeah. Please I'm let him run the block. Yeah. I'm taking <laughs> all of that. I'm preparing I'm right to him. For war. Yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna be in his face like, man, you yeah. should win, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, we I'm with riding you. with you, dog. We riding with, <laughs> and that's how the rest of the country yeah. is looking at. Yeah. They know they can't get that off with, mm-hmm. with Hillary Clinton. You know what I mean? But they can get that with Donald, yeah. and they're gonna suck a Donald into something that he's gonna lie about and say that he didn't. That's not how he meant it. There's so many contradictions of him, you know, on just document it. Right. Of how he feels about America, how, how one day he's this changed, way, one his story you know, changes every his story changes I think he's, every hour. The body's he's bipolar. He yeah. might be schizo too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I have a my personal belief on the Trump thing is, is unique. I don't think he ever thought he would get this far. I believe. I that. think this yeah. is almost like remember Bruce's millions. I know I'm saying, you know, we all in the same age bracket, yeah. and he had no. to spend all that money. No, yeah, no, 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 I know what that is. No, 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 I think he was just, you know, seeing what he can do. It, from a marketing perspective, it was kind of genius. Yeah. It's kind of sick and sadistic, but it was kind of genius from a marketing perspective. Is it genius or is it just revealing of what a lot of Americans been th- think anyway? Well, he tapped into a situation that people would really believe in in the first place. He just gave him a, a giant water cooler to talk to. And I think, obviously, that's why he knew that. And I think we see what happened with Obama over the last eight years. We knew that because Obama... Is a, a brilliant man. You think with all the information with technology coming out, all the internet, if they could find information on Obama, they could. The only thing they could find was that he went to a church and they felt it was a radical minister. That's the only thing they could find this guy. And oh, and then Trump with the nationalization BS. So they could find nothing. Uh-huh. So the fact of the matter is, is that the, some people in this country felt like, you know, make, make, make America great again. That's a dog whistle to me. That's something to say in the mm-hmm. background. Like, you know what? Again? Yeah, let's Man, make has it. has it ever been Yeah, great? let's get, let's get mm-hmm. blackface and, you know, start you know, singing Mammy. And I think that's where us as people of color have a problem with Trump. But he, he ran on a, on a group, a constituency that felt that way. And, again, whether you like Trump or not, anytime a guy who's, who has the same views that uh, David Duke comes out and says, I like the, tr- the views of Trump. Or you know some of these other um, pundits that are you know out here, you have to take notice because these people are full of hate. Whether you mm-hmm. go Democrat, yes. Republican, or not, I'm I'm to the table saying you know what I'm tired of Percy giving my vote to the Democrats because I think I, I, I'm 45 years old and I, I sat in communities and I didn't, I didn't see anything. They they sashay somebody every four eight years and say vote for this person, some celebrity, and we like sheep run to that. Malcolm X said that, but this is not the guy. 
then I'm going to give, if, if I'm going to vote the other side, it's not the guy I'm voting for. Yeah. And I agree with you. Yeah. Less than two evils, so I guess I got to go with Hillary. But I'm not a fan of that. But see, I'm, not, I'm, I'm with you. But see, yeah. the thing I look at as well, too, because the reason why I say that I'm going to be voting that way is because also, too, you got to think about the down ballot. Because if you put a Democrat in, at least you know you're going to get some more Democrats that's going to come into Congress, which can change a little bit more around. Mm. That, that's because, what I'm thinking about. Because right. if you, right. if you do yeah. not, because right now you look at it, she's basically almost about to flip about four more states that's going to become Democrats that can get the House or Senate. Mm. If you take and put Trump in, the biggest thing I'm scared about is that if he gets in there, everything stays status quo, and then they're going to change things and, and destroy all the stuff that was done already over the last eight years. And we, And if Trump gets in there, let's remember that we have four Supreme Justice seats. Yes. yes. Four. Yeah. That's, That's a big one. That one, four. Ah. Yes. They don't, they don't get voted out once they nope. get in. They for life. That's for life. They, they Those for are life. appointments yeah. by the yeah. president. Yeah. Yeah. They stay if he gets death. a chance to put four Supreme Judge... <laughs> Uh, I'm going with Soleil's Trump? kids to Canada. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Toronto, <laughs> here I come. Me and Drake, we run the city. The you, get a you get a you speeding get a ticket. Call. You're going to get 25 years. <laughs> you and jaywalking. Well, You're this, going to well, jail, this, buddy. Well, you know, see, the scary thing that you're looking at is that, yes, you got four people about to get out. And then how many times these people been trying to reverse everything that was done from the 60s to yeah. now? Yeah. Mm. So you yeah. know all the stuff that we, all the achievements and stuff that we made, or our grandparents and all made, will get reversed, and then we have to start all yeah. over. Everything and, and look, it goes in a circle. Mm. And, and look everything. what you're talking about: reversed. The right to vote as black people was still not. It's, it's still not a, le- a it's still legit not law. A, it's no. not a legit law. It's, it's gotta, a, it's gotta get reapproved every yeah, so it, many every, years. Every what fifty years? Every, every, every twenty five. Twenty five. Every, every twenty five years. Come on. And, and that's every crazy. Twenty five years. We got to yeah, it's coming up. Twenty twenty five, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Every like twenty five years, we gotta say you. They have to allow us to say, okay, they can vote again. Right? <laughs> Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Which is, makes no sense. It just be knocked out and done. It's a new slavery, dude. Right? We can yeah. talk about this all day. Yeah, I know no you're doubt, passionate, man. and I, I welcome you back before the election. I'll reach out to Mercedes. Well, I'll come back, <laughs> and because again, I think this this food needs to be sliced, diced, and fed. I'm going to bring back Carl, too, cause, and get you guys on the same panel because this is powerful. Brother, one more time, where can people find you at? They want to support. Um, man, if you want to support. Court, get 11. your music. You got, you know, yeah. you, you still jamming? Oh, yeah, we still rocking, man. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Mr. Funky Man and, and DJ Lord Jazz. You know, we just recently, well, maybe four weeks ago, we just came back from doing a six-and-a-half-week tour overseas mm-hmm. in Europe, man. It's a blessing that this hip-hop that I've, I've been making for over 25 years, man, mm-hmm. people still receive it. And um and we cater to the people that rock with us, you know. We support those who support us. No doubt. And um they can get the music on iTunes, you know, Low Tug Twenty, you can go on there. You can also check out videos, the new magic video by Laws of the Underground on YouTube or the underground video by myself, do it all. And um we're just doing a lot of things, man. I own a studio along with my partner Eon Haynes mm-hmm. in, in in Newark, New Jersey, two eleven media group. That's the profit side of my company. And um, we do a lot of different things. Like I just did a three picture deal with, with Flavor Unit and shot Kim over there and Queen Latifah. No doubt. So I'm not going back on the road for a while because I'm in pre production right now for my first movie that I'm presenting through them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it's a custody battle movie called Fighting to Be Dad. Wow. Um, powerful. That's so powerful it's a, right it's, there. You know, I just believe that there's more stories in the neighborhoods and our neighborhoods than drugs, violence, and, Speaking and on it, is, that, is that something like a Kramer versus Kramer, like a remake? Well, you remake showing your way. You're talking about me. Well, well what, man? Kramer won a Academy <laughs> Award. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I guess it could be similar, mm-hmm. but um, it's a story about a young. It's a young man's story who works. Um, he originally works in the post office, but in the movie, he works in a barber shop, and he has a he has a he gets involved with a young lady who. Is becoming a lawyer, mm. so she becomes a lawyer. They have a daughter together, but she's uh, bipolar and schizophrenic. So oh wow! Oh, welcome not, to the hood. Perfect. Yeah, That's welcome a perfect to the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the hood. <laughs> she causes so many <laughs> problems. Sounds like a few people in there. Hey, welcome to the hood. Sounds like true, true love. Yeah, true and, love. And then in our justice system, since we were speaking about the justice yeah. system, it is really hard for a young lady, uh, for a young male, to take a little female child from a lady, from yeah. a woman. And especially if she's an attorney. She's a lawyer. Yeah. She knows the law. Yeah, you know crazy. what I mean? So it just goes through that that um, battle oh. of trying to get... And he wants to be a dad. You have right. a lot of people that out there who don't care, don't want to take care of their children. 
So yes. but we we'll look get for your that. popcorn for that movie coming Again, out. Catch Do It All, DSM presents next up to the stage, September yeah. 15th yeah. Um, at 42 West. This brother here will be nominated in the That's DSM Hall of Fame night. along with Chris Fribbers and my son. Brother, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you, you. Also, get at me on Instagram real quick, man. That's Do It All, just like it sounds, D-O-I-T-A-L-L-D-U. So it's Do It All, Do. The last do is D-U. Do it all, do on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that type of stuff. Support this brother's ventures. It's 950 Lounge. We keep it moving.